little quiz for you. Which of these birds do you think is the interior designer of the lot? To find the answer, stick around to the end. And without further ado, let's check out Number 15, Taylor Bird Nest. Taylor birds get their name from how they make their nests. They sew leaves together with fine grass, spider webs, or plant fibers, which the actual nest is built with soft materials. The nest is usually placed in thick foliage, making it tough to spot. Taylor birds are generally quite shy and hide within dense vegetation themselves. They are found most commonly in Southeast Asia, with various subspecies spread across Sri Lanka, India, Pakistan, and Nepal. Number 14. Hammercop This African bird's nest is a massive roofed structure. It takes 8 weeks and 10,000 twigs to build, and is lined with mud for insulation and waterproofing. Just call them engineers at that point. This nest takes a lot of effort, needless to say, and requires equal contribution from both males and females. Hammercops are thought to be closely related to pelicans or shoebills because of their long bills. The crest at the back resembles a hammer, which gave it its name. It is most commonly found in Madagascar and Africa, often in wetlands and riverbanks. They like to stay close to water since that's where most of their prey is found, but they aren't very picky and tend to be adaptable creatures. During the breeding season, both parents build massive nests and even incubate the eggs together. And what's more, just one nest isn't enough. Hammer cops build about four nests a year, which means they are working all year round. Number 13, Ruby-Throated Hummingbird. These birds tend to be quite solitary and antisocial, except for when it's mating season. Even courtship with these birds lasts only a few minutes. Unlike the hammer cops, only females build the nest and care for the offspring. Their nests are tiny, not like structures, attached to a tree branch with spider silk. It is made up of tree bark, lead strands, and silk fibers, which make it strong and stretchy. The inside is lined with hair or feathers for insulation, and the outside is decorated with lichen to camouflage. You'll find them mostly in Central America and Mexico, but they migrate to Canada and other parts of Northern America for the summer to breed. Number 12, Bald Eagle. Popular as the national bird of the United States, Bald eagles are powerful birds with a wingspan of about 2.3 meters. The females are also 25% larger than males. Bald eagles build the largest nest of any North American bird, with the largest ever being recorded at 4 meters in depth, 2.5 meters in width, and weighing 1 metric ton. That's right, these birds have nests that are a massive pile of twigs and sticks lined with leaves in the middle. The bigger the nest, the safer it is. It is usually up on a high platform, like a tree or a cliff, so the parents can see it from far away. So, when they're out hunting, swooping from the skies, and snatching their prey from the water, you can be sure they have one eagle eye trained on the safety of their little ones. If you think a one-ton nest is impressive, remember weight and size isn't everything. Keep watching to see the number one most amazing bird's nest. Number 11. Edible Nest Swiftlet the name should be explanation enough. They're also called white nest swiftlets and are commonly found in Southeast Asia. Their nest is built in layers, usually over protruding rocks on inclined walls of sea caves. But here's the kicker. They are made from solidified bird saliva. What's more, it's harvested a great deal for a Chinese delicacy, bird's nest soup. The soup is made by soaking and steaming the nests in water. It is said to improve kidney function and reduce phlegm. These fetch high prices, so it's no wonder they are harvested extensively, and the species is now under threat. There has been use of artificial birdhouses, with farmers in Indonesia and Malaysia building these structures and playing recordings of bird calls to attract swiftlets. However, these actions lead to a problem for the people living nearby, because swiftlets have very loud mating calls and make a distinct rattling sound used for echolocation. Number 10. The oven bird. True, many birds do wind up in discarded microwave ovens. But this bird gets its name because of the nest it builds. It resembles old cooking pots, complete with a lid. The red oven bird has a thick, 
round, and sturdy nest that is assembled using clay over the course of six weeks. Both partners contribute, and unlike most birds, the oven bird thrives in urban habitats and doesn't mind humans. Now, they even prefer to use man-made items for their nests instead of building their own, freeing up their nests for the saffron finch to sneak in and take up permanent residence. Number 9. European Bee Eater Despite the name, European bee eaters can also be found in North Africa and West Asia, and they migrate to tropical Africa for the winters. They nest colonially in sandy banks or river shores around May. These birds dig a horizontal cavity in the sand on a river embankment using its bill, excavates the burrow using its feet to scoop out the sand. The nest has to be built in an area with soft sand that is still strong enough so it won't cave in. The tunnels are long and birds lay about 5 to 8 eggs in them around June. Both the male and female care for the eggs, and the birds also feed and roost communally. Most males are monogamous, but there has been occasional bigamy. During courtship, males feed the female large items and eat small things themselves. Number 8. Baya Weaver Found in the Indian subcontinent, Baya weavers are known for their nest colonies in thorny trees or palm fronds, anywhere predators can't reach easily. Their nests are an interwoven structure suspended from a tree overlooking the water and are woven from grass strips, paddy leaves, and torn strips of palm fronds. These nests are built only by the males, after which they show the female they want to court. If she approves, she mates with him, but not before he puts some final finishing touches on the home. Their breeding season is in the monsoon. So, the nests are constructed on the eastern side of acacias or palm trees, as it provides the best protection from the southwest monsoon. These pendulous nests are retort-shaped, with a central nesting chamber and a long vertical tube leading to the side of the room. Sometimes, the abandoned nests are used by mice or other birds. Number 7. Horned Coot From far away, the birds might not look very special. They're black with a pale yellow bill, but if you move closer, you'll see the small black horn covering the bill base. They are known for their remarkable nests made with mounds of stones, topped with weeds that look like the tips of underwater volcanoes. The result of this is an island of pebbles weighing about 1.5 tons. The mound keeps the nest safe from the water current. These huge nests are usually about 40 meters away from the shore and are refurbished every season. Pairs of these birds build their nests in shallow waters, sometimes breeding in colonies of 80 pairs, and it takes months, if not years, to complete. Number 6. Little Greb Little grebs are water birds with pointed bills and dark colored necks. Their nests are more like floating platforms made from twigs and submerged aquatic vegetation. It is mostly built in shallow waters, with high surrounding vegetation for comfort and protection. Adults generally lay four to seven eggs and leave the nest covered in weeds, so it's hidden from predators and kept warm. When the eggs hatch, the young ones can start swimming almost immediately or carried on the backs of adults. Number five, African Jacana. We can all walk on water, only when it's frozen. But the African Jacana has the right feet to elegantly skip across lakes and any water bodies. They have exceptionally long toes that spread out to distribute their weight. Its ability to walk on water has given it the nickname Jesus Bird. In truth, they actually walk on the floating vegetation in the water, going from stems to lily pads, hence the other name, Lily Trotter. They rarely fall into the water, but even if they do, they are excellent swimmers and can plunge way below the surface to escape predators. But when it's mating season, they're on shores creating absolute chaos and relentlessly squawking. But before mating season, there is the small task of building a nest. The African Jacana's nest doubles as a mating platform, and it's fragile, made from floating vegetation. The bird makes several of these and then chooses one for laying eggs. The nest is loosely anchored and glides over water. Sometimes, it can sink while the bird is incubating its eggs. Number 4. Malif Owls 
not all nests are high up in the trees. This Australian native is known to create their nests in the ground, some of which can be 2 feet deep and 150 feet in circumference. The male Malifals dig the enormous hole and fill it with sticks, leaves, and other organic matter suitable for lining a nest. After the female lays her eggs, the pair add a thin layer of sand to keep it warm. As the organic matter below decays, the heat incubates the eggs, and that's where all the good parenting stops. Malif fowls are known for their lack of parental care after the chicks hatch. The struggle for the younglings starts right after birth, when they have to dig their way out of the mound, and the process can take up to 15 hours. Number 3. The Ferruginous Pygmy Owl You might think a cactus makes a very inhospitable and uncomfortable home, and you'd be right. However, that doesn't seem to bother the Ferruginous Pygmy Owl, which builds its nest inside the Saraguro cactus, and given its nesting choice, it's no surprise that they are most commonly found in Arizona, southern Texas, Mexico, and parts of South America. You'll find them in mesquite thickets and riverine desert woods. It's worth noting that the owls don't actually carve out this hole themselves. Plus, they have wings that give them the protection they need against the needles. But it's probably because of their nesting choice that these owls are seriously endangered. Cigarro cactuses succumb to fires easily. Plus, the owls' natural habitats have been modified due to dams, water diversions, and urban expansions. Before we go on, it's time to check out today's subscriber pick. Remember, if you come across a crazy photo while scrolling online, send it over to us and we'll investigate. Whoa, that does look crazy. It might seem too large to be a bird's nest. After all, that's a lot of work. But the truth is, it's a real nest. Check out our number two spot, Sociable Weaver. As the name suggests, they are sociable creatures that nest in breeding groups. It is endemic to South Africa, and their nests are undoubtedly one of the most impressive structures built by any bird. Their nest within a nest design is attached to trees or poles, and a compound nest can house over a hundred breeding pairs, often accommodating several generations at a time. All of them contribute to the construction, maintenance, and repair. It looks like a giant haystack in the tree and consists of several chambers. The central chambers retain heat during the night, and the outer rooms are for daytime shade. If you see the nest from below, you see entrances to each room, somewhat resembling a honeycomb. Each entrance can be about three inches wide and have sharp sticks to deter predators. And living in large groups means there is always someone to look out for danger. Before we look at our number one most incredible bird's nest, we have a quick challenge for you that will only take five seconds. Go ahead and subscribe to the video and hit the bell icon so you never miss an upload. And you'll magically learn a new musical instrument. Try it, it works. Done that? Okay. Let's check out our number one spot, the Bowerbird. The Bowerbirds are definitely the interior designers of the avian kingdom. The males of this species decorate their elaborate nests with colorful rocks, leaves, shells, feathers, berries, or with man-made items like shiny coins and rifle shells. They spend a great deal of time making it perfect before showing it off to a potential mate. The females spend an equal amount of time inspecting and appraising the completed nests, and if it is to her high standards, she will mate with the male. The males whose nests don't get approved most likely tuck their tails between their legs and slink away while beetles and snakes come in and become squatters. And that's it for the 15 most amazing bird nests in the world. Honestly, some of them look so warm and cozy, I wouldn't mind staying there myself. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit the like button and check out other videos just like this on the 4 Evergreen channel. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.